What's up guys, another quick video tonight. We're gonna be redoing my engine mount because my engine is currently sitting on the headers. It's that blown. It's not gone, it is skedaddled. So we're gonna be replacing that and we're gonna be doing the other side and the transmission mount while we're at it. Obviously, first thing you need to do is go buy the parts. Um, I got mine from O'Reilly's. I think they were about 50 bucks a piece for the engine mounts and 40-ish for the transmission, which is not terrible. Um, and then you're going to need to get a uh, cherry picker or engine hoist in some variety. You can, um, depending on your make and model, if you're just looking at this video just to get a general sense of how to do it on a V8, you might be able to jack it up. But on this particular truck, you'd have to jack it up by the oil pan and I don't want it to get dented or collapse. So we're just going to do it properly. So I have aftermarket headers on there. It's going to be a little different for you guys, but you should still be able to get a chain or a cable of some variety down in there. Right now I'm just letting it cool because I just drove home. Um, but you're just going to hook it um, by the headers. I would try for that center piece. It's going to have the most strength. Um, and then just going to jack it up a little bit. Before you do that, get up under there and loosen the bolt. I'm about to do that and I'll let you know what size it is. All right, this bolt in the front appears to be... Um, a 18 or 17 millimeter. I'm getting a bit better of an understanding why it failed. Good lord. I don't even think I'm going to be able to do this tonight. I still need the bolts for it. Damn, man. Anyway, so you clear off this uh, 22 millimeter. I'm just going to pull that out. Um, and then once you have that fully off, you can just kind of knock it out. It doesn't need to fully come out. It just needs to be able to slip past this little lip up there. Um, and then you can start pulling it out, but good lord, that's not good. Got it hooked on the header there. I'm just gonna jack it up real quick. Okay, so make sure that's locked and keep it there. And now you should be able to go in there and pull the motor mount out. A bit of damage to my exhaust headers, but in all honesty, it's not that bad. But you can see, it looks like on mine, it just failed when the bolts came out. Um, but go ahead and fully knock that center bolt. Um, and then you should just be able to kind of work it out and pull it. I'm going to show you guys what I do in a sec. Okay, so I've got all of it out. I'm just working it out slowly through the bottom. Almost there. I might get a little bit more leverage on the motor. So this is where the process gets finicky. You're going to want to eyeball it as well as you can. And then just let it down very slowly. Um, once you get everything in by hand, you can let it go fully and then tighten it all up. Alright, once you've got everything situated, you can go ahead and install your transmission brace. Um, and then tighten everything down. Um, the stock bolts, I believe, are uh, either 12 mil or 13 mil. Um, but on my setup, it is currently uh, 14 just because I had to replace them. Boom, everything's in. And then if you're going to do the passenger side, go ahead and leave that main uh, bolt loose because you're going to be lifting it up on the other side. Move on to the passenger side. Go ahead and wrap the header and jack this side up as well. Just wiggle the old one out once you have it lifted up a bit. Um, and then you can wiggle the old one or the new one back in. I was looking at this and there was no way I was going to be able to do the transmission mount easily. I was going to have to get a whole new bracket. So I decided to just hold off until we go to the junkyard. But I just pulled out what's remaining of the old, um, or part of what's remaining of the old transmission mount itself. So that's coming out. I just have it jacked up a little bit. Just disconnected the two bolts up top. Got this out. and Yeah, it was bottoming out a little bit. <laughs> so... I might make my own that doesn't come down as much, um, but I know Belltech sells one that you get about two inches more clearance with for about 300 bucks, so I might go with that. So if you do end up dropping the transmission mount bracket like I'm doing, it's just for, um, it's a 15 millimeter nut on this side and a 13 millimeter um, bolt on the other, and it's just for, uh, make sure you relieve uh, pressure off of the mount before you pull everything out of course all right so sorry for the bad view but more or less this is a pain to get in they oversize it so it's kind of held in by tension right now it's not even bolted so what you do is you kind of come from the back you have it completely maxed out up top because it's more wide up top it's tapered down like this you slide it in up top and then you kind of slide it down into place and then finagle it from there um, I just used the combination of the jack and a 
um, dead blow hammer, but that's all in. Um, and then you can raise this up pretty much as far as it'll go without damaging anything and then slide that mount up under there. Um, and then the last thing I have to do is move this all over a little bit, get that adjusted and that'll be done. Um, and then I can tighten up the front ones and it'll be uh, done. Um, the other thing though that I've been looking at, I believe, um, I may remove this just to make it easier, but I think I have the clearance to make it, so we'll see. Alright, I've got everything in, just had to kind of push it over while I put it in, so we're going to tighten everything down. I got some more nuts for the bottom, and then we're going to tighten all that up, and we'll be pretty much done. Once I got everything positioned in, um, I went ahead and tightened everything down, about as tight as I could get it, um, but yeah, these mounts were... Pretty done to say the least. Um, both of them are cracked. Transmission mount, as y'all saw, was in two pieces. So the next step, I think I'm going to be putting in a Belltech transmission mount because I went out wheeling this weekend um, and it was bottoming out a bit more. So as you can see by how muddy she is. But um, that's how you do all of your um, mounts on a 1998 Dodge Ram. This applies to pretty much any of the other Dodge Ram uh, 1500s and 2500s that had the 5.2 or 5.9 V8. Thank you for watching. See you next video.